guys, Thomas from Team Sakurazo here, coming at you guys with a Duelist Nexus box opening. It's technically a sneak peek, but I mean, you guys see a sealed box right here, right? And I actually really like the field centers that they gave out right over here. And I'm really hoping you guys like them too, because I will be giving this away to one lucky winner. Uh, to enter this giveaway, uh, there will be rules in the description if you just want to skip and get to the video and then read that later. But all you have to do is leave a like, be subscribed to the channel, and let me know in the comment section below what you're looking for in Duelist Nexus, if anything at all, or what your favorite pool was. Uh, the giveaway is only available in US and Canada as well, and I will announce the giveaway winner within like a week and a half or two. So, yeah, we're going to get into it. We're actually going to open up the mystery pack first. First here now if you guys wonder what I'm looking for because of course you guys are right uh, half of you probably just clicked to see the pools uh, part of me is actually hoping to get a quarter century I don't even know why I only got one box usually I get like two uh, and then we got the new mandamin card so they're definitely cracked with the new support I think they're really good uh, you still kind of the lines are still where you hit them like if you can get visas out like if they're like oh special visas from grave and then you DD crow that you're in a good position, right? Like, that's just one example, right? Um, I don't know if any of you guys like to play the deck, but it's interesting to me. Like, I didn't like it till I saw it in action. By that point, like, I got rid of my Star Frost around, like, 25s, um, which was fine because they were as low as 6 at one point. Um, I ended up just not wanting to get rid of that 6. It was, like, way too low. All right, so let's get right to it. I'm looking for that i'm looking for some of the geist cards as well i'm actually a big fan of ultra geist if you guys don't know uh like i really liked you during that time too uh oh we got the red eyes i didn't know red eyes was actually getting support here i guess they just got one card well, that's cute uh i looked at this and i didn't see red eyes so actually a little surprise next pack right over here we got gaia blaze the force of the sun uh, I don't think anyone cares about Guy at this point. Oh, that's actually very good. We got the Unchained Soul of Yama, I believe. I actually went over uh, the Unchained support. This, the Link, and the Fire one are amazing. Honestly, very, very good pool. Um, I'm actually looking forward uh, to seeing more Unchained. I know there's actually a Labyrinth build of Unchained. And I'm not going to lie, guys. I'm a little interested. Because Lab was a card, I, I was a deck I would want to play, but I just never did because I just, it wasn't, Darkwing Blast is what really helped the set, um, all that. Uh, we got Magistus of whatever that's called, super rare, nobody cares. Next pack here, I know that at my sneak peek, um, all I know is, because quite a few people were getting um, sneak peek kits and all that. I only actually saw one quarter century pulled, and it was the Snake Eye card, I believe. That's what they said it was. I have one super over there. Uh, so that's cool. The quarter century I really want to pull. So if it's for usage, right, if we're taking value out of it, right, because whenever it says, oh, what's all you want to pull, the most expensive one, then I could downgrade it, get what I want. This card is just... Why would you trade a card if you're going to make it that bad? Um... Point anyway, at least it like it looks cool for like a fan service super, but we already get enough fan service as is in this game. Like I don't know what card game actually gets more fan service than Yu-Gi-Oh. I really don't. But back to what I was saying though, I don't really like the retrain too much at all, but if I was going for the card I was gonna use for a quarter century, it's probably the Ultra Geist Link. I don't think it's gonna be that much money anyway. So, it's actually cool seeing the Dream Mirror, or Dreaming Reality, oh no, this isn't Dream Mirror, Dreaming Reality. Uh, card looks really gorgeous, actually. I really love, like, my favorite deck's Medulce, right? So, I really, really like cards that look like this. I really, really do. Like, it's adorable. Plus, it looks ferocious. I'll be honest, though, it doesn't give me Medulce vibes. It gives me Madoka Magica vibes. If you guys uh, watch that, you know, the one, uh, no head scene, as we'll call it. Oh, we got an Ultra. Oh, they gave us Hita here. Oh, Hita's probably the quarter century. It would look cool, actually. Especially because I am glad that since we don't have Starlight anymore, they're not going to give a Starlight rare to, like, a Charmer that's, all like, really not that great. And it's just, like, a really bad pick. But, yeah, the Hita Ultra, not that you want to pull, but it's cool. the very least. Huh. I was actually thinking about getting more of this set so I could get the Geist cards, like, the Supers and all that. But then I realized, I'm like, am I going to spend, like, get another box just to get Supers? 
All right, another super right there. Uh, oh, I really would like to see the auto eye sinker, actually. You know, it's good about money. The fact that they made a more cracked glow bulb is just crazy to me. Like, the fact that it has to become level one is what un what's like, wow. I, oh, man, it's crazy how we got this reveal just recently, too. Uh, I actually made a video about it, and it didn't do too bad. It didn't do great, but it didn't do awful. I got like 300 something views. However, when I went over yesterday for news video, I forgot what product I went over. Oh, the Battles of Legends, uh, where we're getting some reprints. Well, this card looks really cool. It's actually a card I'm a little interested in. You're finished. Um, it's not, it's weird, but it's cool, right? I like it a lot. But anyway, uh, back to what I was saying as I interrupted myself. Um, what was I saying, actually? Oh yeah, but um, the Armageddon one, go check that out. We got some cool reprints so far. And we got the secret rare. I think this card looks fantastic. You know what? I'm fine with pulling this, right? I think it's the, uh, an average secret rare uh, as of recording right now. It's the draw for level 10. So you got some Eldritch support. You got some train support. You've obviously got the, um, what's it called here? The Stellaron support or whatever it's called here. Really, really cool, actually. I really like this card, actually. Uh, very cool looking card. I don't know if I'm going to get rid of it. I'm not too sure. Whenever I go to sneak peek, I kind of like, I don't know, I look at it more of a fun experience. I'm like, oh, should I get rid of these cards? If I don't want them, I don't want them. But if they look cool and I like it, like, I just kind of go, whatever, fuck it. Right? Plus, it's so hard to read sneak peeks sometimes. Like, what's going to go up, what's going to go down, and all that jazz. Also, I want to know in the comment section below, do you guys think that a quarter century should replace Secret? I feel like... There, I don't know. I feel. I feel like now if we're gonna get quarter centuries, product's definitely gonna sell more. But oh, we got the Ultra Chimera. Really cool. I actually have him. Very cool. I really like Guardian Orthros as a card. So and because of the artwork, so I really like this one as well. Man, this card looks pretty dope. I don't really have anything else to say. It's not a bad pull either. Uh, it's usable. I know that. Uh, I think this is the usable one. Maybe I'm wrong. I know Eurocentric also got some support, which is like, it's cool, but like, you know, Ancient Guardians is like, what, a two-year-old set at this point? Why couldn't we get good cards for Eurocentric when it was like, hot? And that's a kind of one thing I don't like about Yu-Gi-Oh! is they'll like, give good enough support to at least see local play, right? Which, I know it's at locals isn't crazy, but most players aren't going to go to big events. And they want to play their fun deck at locals, right? Like, make it viable for locals, at least. That's all people usually ask. Like, when it comes to, like, fun decks, I actually really do love fun decks. Like, if we had brackets of casual decks, oh, man, bro. That'd be great. That'd be great. Might actually start going to Edison events, just for me. Oh, there's the Ultra Guys card. Apparently, some people are saying you, can only, you only have to play one, but I feel like this card's really good at playing, like, at least two, if not the three. Because it's kind of like, how many level 1 starters are you going to really need? And is it worth playing 1 for 1 now? Like, I feel like it might be. I don't know. Like, all you guys don't... I mean, it's not like they, they're not supposed to set up the grave. I got the new Infernoble Noble card. Uh, I'm not going to even, like, argue that. But if you, like, discard the Reborn, you could then banish it to add, like, a protocol if it gets popped or something, you know. Uh, not, not everything's totally useless, but it's not good. That's what I'm going to say. We got about four packs remaining. It does not look like we are going to get the quarter century secret, unfortunately, but it is what it is. Oh, we got the Noble Arms Museum. Is that card damaged? No, it's not. Okay, cool. Uh, which is cool. Um... I actually do like it for Noble, so I feel like our ultras were kind of good. Like, I don't know anyone watching it. I, because, you know, sneak peek prices always change, right? I feel like our ultras were really good and our secret, we got an average secret. So I feel like we're going to get a really bad secret here. I feel like it's this pack. That's not, it's not. We got the other ultra guys, which is cool. Uh, so you got one super, you know, if I proxy and like when I'm like play testing, at least I have one in one so we can just read it and not to like pull the translation. So this pack's going to be the secret. 
I am very scared because there's one more pack here. So if there's no secret and I got Jip a secret, but I don't like the box anymore. <laughs> like, okay. I got Jip a secret. Oh, no, 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 wait. There's one more pack. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm really dumb. I forgot to get the last. Oh, okay. This is, guys, I was so mad for a second. All right. I don't think they have any trap secrets in this set, at least from what I was looking. The spell. Okay, we got the evil, uh, the snake eye secret. That's not bad, I think. I don't know how they're gonna shape up. They only got one round of support, uh, so maybe they'll get better. Um, especially if the new support, if Konami's like, oh wow, they wanna play rekindling? Oh, we'll make everything 200 defense. That's, ooh. Kindling about to go f hard. Kindling's like, it's like soul charge for like the most specific thing that's almost unusable, right? Almost, because when when rekindling is live, oh, it's flames. Well, with that being said, guys, leave a like if you guys enjoyed. Subscribe. If you're buying any cards off TCG, please use my link down in the description below. Helps out the channel to know additional costs to you. Consider being a YouTube channel member, especially if you like what I do and you want to support me. Uh, giveaway rules and all that in the description. And I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.